Hello friends, welcome to today's tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we have covered the high level architecture of Kafka. Today, we will see some of the important concept of Kafka, such as topic partitions. Inside that, we will see the uh, what is leaders, what is followers. Then at the last, we will see the high watermark concept. So Kafka is simply a collection of topics. And as the topic can get quite big, they are again split into the partitions of the smaller size for better performance and scalability. So let us see what is topic partitions. So Kafka are partitions means topic, topic is spread over number of fragments. Each partition can be placed on separate Kafka broker. When a new message is published on the topic, it get append to one of the topics partitions. So what is topic partitions? So topic partition simply means uh, it is a, like a num it is break down into the number of fragments and each partition we like each fragments we call a single partition and that partition can be placed on same broker or can be uh, placed on the other brokers or a separate brokers. So see here the producer control which partition it publishes the masses to based on the data. For example, producer can, can producer can decide that all the masses related to particular city go to same partitions. So you can understand like that. There is a one uh, topic uh, which is uh, used to store the masses of city, and you know city can be uh, can be of number of the cities like uh, like 10, 10 cities or twenty cities like that. And if you wanted to store the masses of all the cities, then if, if you have the single topic and single partition, then all the masses get a store on the single uh, partition and it will hugely impact on the performance to avoid performance uh, issue on your uh, like uh, server. What you can do, you can split that particular topic into number of fragments and each fragments we call it partitions and each fragment will use to like responsible for storing the information of single particular city okay so whenever any name or any message is published for that particular city it goes to that uh, partition which is only storing the information of that particular city so essentially a partition is an order sequence of messages Producer continuously append the new messages to the partitions. Kafka guarantee that all the messages inside the partitions are stored in the sequence they came in. All right. So ordering of the message is maintained at the partitionable partition level, not across the topic. So you can see from the this diagram. So there are total three brokers. In the broker one, we have the partition zero. In the broker two, we have the partition one. In the broker three, we have the partition two. So next record uh, retain here is the eight number. Here it is a 10 number. Here it is a 12th number. So this is from old to new. Like in this sequential order, the messages get published on each partitions, which is present in different different brokers like broker one, two and three. A unique sequence ID called offset get assigned to every message that enter a partitions. So suppose this is the single, this is the one message, 12 number. So the, each message ha, 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 is assigned with a unique hand sequence ID, which we call as offset in the in the context of Kafka. So these numeric offsets are used to identify each messages sequential position within a topic partitions all right so offset sequence are unique only to each partitions this means that to locate the specific message we need to know the topic partitions and offset number so these three are important to know the specific to or to locate the specific message like topics partitions and offset numbers all three are important so producer can choose to publish a message to any partitions if ordering within the partition is not needed. A, a, round, a round robin partition strategy, strategy can be used. So records get distributed evenly across the partitions. So it means that when the ordering is not important, 
then you can use the round round robin for evenly distributing the message across the different partitions now now placing each partition on separate kafka brokers enable the multiple consumers to read from the topic in parallel so that means different consumer can concurrently read the different partitions present on the separate brokers so with the help of this uh, no no consumer get stuck because of like uh, some blocking or something so here every consumer will uh, work in a parallel and it can be get the information much faster way compared to the like if you have the single partition or single kafka broker then in compared to that if uh, then the uh, message get consumed by the consumer is very fast now placing each partition of topic on separate broker also enable the topic to hold more data than the capacity of one server that is the another advantage of having the partition on the separate broker now messages once written to the partitions are immutable and cannot be updated uh, we already know that once the messages get uh, uh, published on that partition it can not be edited or it is immutable it cannot be get changed or updated producer can add the key to any message it publishes and kafka guarantee that messages with the same key are written on to the same partition so uh, at the last uh, each kafka broker manages manage a set of partition belonging to different topics so these are the some of the important points related to uh, kafka topic kafka topic partitions now let us see uh, some of the important things kafka kafka follow the principle of dump broker and a smarter consumer so this means that kafka so this means that kafka does not keep the track of what records are read by the consumer all right instead consumer then themselves polls kafka for the new messages and say what record they want to read so in this case consumer is only responsible for like uh, responsible for storing the data history like what type, what messages they want here the broker is completely dump they did not broker did not know what messages he has to published okay here come only the responsible thing is like consumer so this allow them to increment or decrement the offset offset you know what is offset offset is just a unique id assigned to particular published messages messages okay so with the help of this the, this allow to increment or decrement the offset they are at and they wish thus being able to re replay and reprocess the messages so consumer can read the message starting from the specific offset and are allowed to read from any offset they choose so that is the advantage because here the uh, broker does not know anything and here we have the smarter consumer so whatever you just tell the offset number it will start consuming the that particular message okay if you want to uh, get the message of like older messages so like two days old messages then then just uh, give the offset number or the unique id of that message it will uh, start consuming it so that is the advantage so every topic can be replicated to multiple kafka brokers to make the data full tolerance and highly available so here each topic partition has one leader broker and multiple replica which we call follower brokers now let us see what is leaders and what is followers follower a leader is a node responsible for all reads and write for given partitions and every partition has one kafka broker acting as a leader so basically uh, uh, as you know that we divided the topic into the number of partitions and each each partition like each group of partition having one leader and rest of them having the followers so that is the uh, concept of leaders now let us come to followers to to handle the single point of failure kafka can replicate the partitions and distribute them across the multiple brokers server called as followers so to avoid the single point failure so uh, we like kafka replicate the partitions and distribute 
them across the multiple available server or the brokers. So each follower's responsibility is to replicate the leader's data to serve as a backup partition. So this also means that any followers can take over the leaders if, if the leaders goes down. That is the advantage of uh, replicating the same partition across the multiple brokers. So in this following diagram, we have two partitions and four brokers. Broker one is the leader one, leader of the partition one and the follower of my partition two. You can see here, we have the partition of one here in the broker one. We have the partition, same partition one on the broker two and similarly another partition we have on the broker three. So three in the three places, same partitions are available, but the only leader is here. Broker one is the leader. So once a leader, uh, like suppose if something happened wrong and this broker goes down or the server where this Kafka broker is running is going down, then at that point you will not able to like you will not lose the data because same data is also present in broker two and broker three and one of them once the there is a failure in kafka broker one then the leader is shifted to any of the remaining two a kafka broker either the kafka broker two will become leader or kafka broker three will become leader so with the help of this duplication you will not able to like you will not lose your data so now kafka store the location of the leader of each partition in jukeeper so this is the role of jukeeper what is the role of jukeeper jukeeper is used used to store the uh, leader information okay so that is the written here kafka store the location of leader of each a uh, partition in the jukeeper so as all as you can see as all the writes and read happen at and from the leader producers and consumer directly talk to zookeeper to find the partition leader so there is a direct communication with the zookeeper because zookeeper is only responsible for storing the information about the leader of each partitions. Now next uh, we will see what is in sync replicas and in sync replica ISR is the broker that has the latest data for the given partition. A leader is always an in sync replica. A follower is a sync replica only if it has fully caught up to the partition it is following. So in other word, ISR cannot be behind on the latest record for the given partitions. So only ISR are eligible to become partition leaders, which has the latest data, like all the latest read and write information. So Kafka can choose the minimum number of ISR required before data becomes available for the consumers to read. So that is the thing. That is the like concept in sync replica. So now let us summarize what are the things we have covered in this tutorial. We have covered the topic partitions where we saw the what is leaders, what is followers, what is in sync replica. So these are the things we have covered in today's tutorial. So in the next video, we will going to cover in the more details. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Good luck.